Hey guys, in this version of ICT Basics, I'm going to discuss the ICT balance price range, um, how I use it, although I'm, this is not going to be a perfect definition of how, of how Michael teaches it. I'm going to teach you how I identify it and uh, how to use it the way that I use it, okay? So how I identify an ICT balance price range is as follows. I look for a BISI and a SIBI right across from one another, such as right here, okay? This is a balance price range, okay? Between this BISI and this SIBI, do you see how they're right across from one another? Now, why is it balanced? Because the market was equally offered on the upside, on the buy side, and was equally offered on the sell side. Now, really, every time that the market is straight up and straight back down, more or less that is a balanced price range. But how I like to use it is I like it to be a BISI and a SIBI right across from one another and for the pattern really to look like a V or an inverted V. Okay, so like a V like this or uh, like a chevron, like up, up, straight up and straight back down. The balance price range is a draw on price similar to an inefficiency, but it's a very strong area of support and resistance. So basically the market has traded efficiently there, and so the market does not really have a need when it goes to these balance price ranges. When it goes to a balance price range, uh, the, the first thing that you want to look for is you want to look for the 50% of that and see whether price is respecting the 50%. Now, it could still turn around anywhere um, anywhere beyond that, so up, up into uh, 50, 75, whatever. But you immediately want to see, okay, is price respecting the 50%? And you're going to find that to be the case a lot of the time. Guys, the balance price range is, is fairly common but it's very powerful. It's very powerful and it can cause price to, um, if, if it's in a lot of balanced price ranges, basically the price can, can uh, bounce around a lot and not do very much, not go anywhere, uh, because it's, it's where the market has traded efficiently, right? It's been off, the market has offered itself both to the uh, upside and to the downside. So the balanced price range is a strong, strong area of support resistance. It is a draw on price to the midway point and it's a very strong area of support resistance. How I like to identify the balance price range is I'm looking for a BISI and then a SIBI right across from one another, such as you can see here. You can see that price drew back up into it and then found resistance with it, uh, just above it, reading the candle closes. Now let's see if I can find a balance price range on the, this would really be a bearish balance price range, so you can just mark that with a negative. Now, let me see if I can find an example of a bullish balance price range. Okay, let me see if I can find an example where it's... All right. This right here is an example of a balance price range from in this yellow box because it's SIBI and then BISI. They don't have to be perfectly aligned, guys. And by the way, really the balance price range is all the way where the candles are overlapping. So it's a this is a little bit subjective, but I'm looking for a SIBI and a BISI. It's basically like a, a V or an inverted V. Okay, so this would be bullish balance price range. Now notice that price forms a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, forms a low, comes back higher, forms an order block, and then as price gets above this sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, notice that the market had been offered between these two price points equally on the sell side and equally to the buy side, meaning that the price had traded efficiently from point A to point B and then back from point B to point A. That's the basic idea of a balanced price range is that it is a range in which price is balanced to the sell side and to the buy side. Notice that as price comes back down, you see how it respects that 50%. Now you might be wondering, well, Reese, isn't that also an inverted fair value gap? Well, yes, it is. But it's, it's a very powerful version of an inverted fair value gap because that is a balanced price range. Okay. So guys, how I like to identify a balanced price range is very simple. I'm looking for a SIBI and a BISI right across from one another. Either it looks like a V 
or it looks like an inverted V. That's how I identify it. And it's an area in which price has been offered equally to the buy side and immediate. Basically, it should be pretty immediate, right? Like right back, uh, straight up and then straight back down. When price comes into that balance price range, it is going to be a very strong resistant or support. It's going to be very strong repellent to price. Why? Because price doesn't really have a need and urgency to trade through it because the price had traded efficiently there. So the balance price range, it, again, as with any of the ICT patterns, they're fairly common. And yes, it's often going to be, it's going to look like an inverted fair value gap or just a SIBI or just an inverted BISI. But it's more powerful than that because it's both of them right across from one another. So it's really the market had been equally offered to both the buy side and the sell side. And guys, it, it can really act like a brick wall to price. I mean, these things, when you correctly identify a balanced price range, guys, it can be a real brick wall on price. Like price will get right up to that 50% or maybe a little bit higher and it will knock price right back in the other direction. So when you correctly identify a balanced price range, it's very powerful. It's a very powerful support and resistance. Um, and I need to, I need to min uh, mention this, guys. As with any of ICT patterns, if the price does trade through it, so let's say we have here, we have a balanced price range, it can invert. So let's say that price, we had a balanced price range here in the yellow box, because notice BISI and SIBI. Price traded through it. Now it initially, notice that. Notice how it initially found resistance and almost turned immediately lower, but it didn't. When price traded through the balanced price range and then back to it, notice that it inverted right there and made a new high, and made a new buy side high. So guys, as with anything, this can be an inversion. So when you get in very dense ranges like this, guys, you're going to have a lot of balanced price ranges. Why? Because the market is offering itself equally to the buy side and to the sell side in kind of rapid succession. You're going to see a lot of these balanced price ranges right next to each other. And that's where you can get a little bit lost in what the price is doing because there are so many patterns. There's so many PD arrays happening at once. It's difficult to tell which, you know, which one is the right one. The truth is, is that any of them are, quote unquote, the right one, as long as you have the draw on liquidity correct, as in where price is going next. But notice, okay, that price trades through the balance price range, found resistance on it at first, traded back through it, and then inverted. It will do that, guys. It will do that. So wherever you have a BISI and a SIBI right, from acro right across from one another, you have a balanced price range. It's going to act as a very strong resistance or support to the price, and it can also invert. So in this uh, video of ICT basics, we covered the ICT balance price range, how it's a very strong support or resistance on the price, how you can identify it, and how it can invert. Bye-bye.